a ton of viewers. Welcome back. I see you guys love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. If you have Libra anyway in your chart, then you belong here. If you don't have Libra in your chart, but you found this channel, then you still belong here. Take what resonates. Libra does not on this table. This is general. If you would like to book a personal, my email is in the description box. So let's get into it, Libra. Let's see what's the vibe. See what spirit has for you at this time. What's going on for Libras here? What's going on with the Libras? What is the message here for the Libras at this time? So we have the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So you have an earth sign energy here. This masculine could want to surprise you, send you a message of love. This person could be having fantasies about you, thinking about you here. This person could definitely be admiring you and have some emotions for you here. This energy is giving a provider, okay? Someone that's very stable, successful, right? A boss, the emperor on the bottom of the deck. This could be a Taurus here. Aries or Scorpio. This could be your energy. You could be in this King of Pentacles energy at this time. We have the Queen of Wands. So I really feel like there's a masculine that definitely has their eye on you. They see you as someone that's very sexy, very charming, very confident here. Someone that's very organized, a go-getter. You could be someone that's very natural. You could have natural hair. I feel like this person loves this about you here. What is the message here? Knight of Cups. So I really feel like this person definitely wants to date you. This person is looking at you with definitely um, romance in their eyes, on their mind here. Definitely seeing you as someone very loving, very motherly. What is the message here? We have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this person feels that they can have a really happy relationship here with you. Something that will last. Something that will be stable. Okay? This person has hella emotions here. This person could definitely be trying to manifest communication with you here, Libra. This could also be a feminine energy as well. This feminine could be in her boss energy if you're a masculine here, but this person finds you very, very attractive, Libra, okay? It's like your energy gives off this vibe of home, all right? This person is definitely focused on your eyes, the way you look, maybe your hair. This is something that this person really likes about you here. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? <clears throat> Play about a page of cups. So we have have faith, okay? So maybe this person is trying to have faith. They want to communicate with you here. It's like this person sees you as someone that they could be with here. It's like they're not allowing fear or doubt to get in their way. They're trusting the divine here. This person could also want you to have faith in them as well. We have divine union and memories here. So this could be someone... Um, that wants to make memories here with you. This person definitely wants to be in a long-term commitment here with you. Definitely marriage, okay? This person could actually propose here. It's like this person wants to walk down the aisle. You could have a connection to this person in some type of way. This could be a love from your past here. Clarify the King of Pentacles. We have it's a vibe, okay? So this person, again, sees you as a vibe, right? They feeling your vibe. This person thinks you have really good energy, really good vibes here. They feel like you're like no other, okay? This could be the same for this person as well. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Right, enchanted love. It's like this person sees this love as something sacred here. Something is giving soulmate energy. This person feels they want to build a future here with you, okay? Something long-lasting, okay? Happily ever after. 
just me and you because now i'm hearing that song by tony 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 okay so this person is definitely has their eye on you here libra this person is digging on you okay definitely wanting to be in divine union with you and again it could be someone that you have dated here in the past you can have always had some type of strong bond, strong connection to this person here. What are the messages here for the Libras? We have good news, okay? So you're about to get some good news here. All right, you're definitely going to hear from this person. They're going to send, they're having faith and trust in the divine to send this offer of love here to you. We have a period of um, ill health, depression. So it's also giving me the energy like maybe you could have lost touch with this person. Maybe this person could have fell ill. This person could have went through some type of depression here. Someone new is entering your life here. So this person is coming to um, be in this union with you here. This person has learned some type of lesson here. So this could definitely be someone from your past. Keith could be significant here. <clears throat> For others of you, this could definitely be someone new that just wants to make memories with you here. What is the message? We have success and vulture. Okay, so this is definitely someone that could suffer from some type of depression here. It's like maybe when you were dealing with this person before, it's like this person could have felt that, you know, you were against them in some type of way, or this could be your feelings here. Could I find someone new is entering your life? Career. Okay, so for some of you here, you could be meeting someone at work here. This could be a boss, right? We did see the emperor come out. This could be a feminine. Um, it's like you could possibly meet this person at work. This could be someone that's taking over a company. You could be new to a job here. Maybe you're going to fall in love and get married to your boss or start to date someone here that you met at work. Okay. You could have suffered from depression. You could have had gotten over this here. It's like you've gotten good news. Also, you could have gotten good news in regards to your health here. The health of your career as well. So take it as it resonates. It's like you're definitely going to be in union with someone or at a workplace here. And I really feel like you might meet this, this boss, this King of Pentacles energy, this very abundant person here on a job. And you're going to make some memories with this person. And it's, it's going to be a lot of success here. Okay. This person definitely wants to build a future with you. Clarify building a future. It's like the vibe is going to be lit. It's like this is going to be a soul connection. I feel like you guys will both feel this here. Knowing that this is something sacred. A bond between you and this person. Something that's divinely guided. Something that's like really harmonious and happy and peaceful here. Clarify bills in the future. <clears throat> Cobweb. Okay, so it says protected from negative forces beyond your control. So just know that your future here is protected with this person. This person could also want to come in and be a protector to you, a protector, a provider, okay, a lover. Let's see what the fuck it deck has to say. What is the message here for the Libras in regards to this uh, reading here? What is the message here for the Libras? Your expression of love may not be their expression of love. They might be mildly fucked up, but if they are kind, love them anyway. Okay, so this could be someone who may have went through some things in the past. I feel like this person will be very expressive to you, let you know how they feel here. Also, again, like I said, this person could suffer from some type of anxiety and depression here as well okay this could be a new person that comes into your life here 
but you and this person is gonna vibe it's like the energy is gonna be amazing here and i just got a confirmation so regardless of, of what's going on with this person i feel like they're having faith in this union here and you're gonna have faith as well and this is definitely it's definitely giving new energy with a little splash of the past so i feel like for the most part this is definitely a new person what are the messages here for the Libras in regards to this um, depression? What do you want them to know? Clarify fly. So we have be patient, you silly fucker. Love takes time. Okay. You wouldn't rush a good shit, right? Okay. So this is someone that possibly the vibe is going to be unmatched here. It's like you're going to be ready to move forward with this person. Um, them, you, right? But it's like you're being called to have faith and to have patience, okay? Not to rush things, especially if someone is suffering from some type of depression or, you know, some type of health here. Also, be patient in hearing this news in regards to your health as well. It's like you're being called not to rush this because this is definitely something good here. Messages for the Libras. It says, ask yourself if the motherfucker is worth all of the effort, okay? So this person could be going over this in their head. Um, if you're worth the effort here, or this could be you as well. Um, coming into union with this person, maybe meeting this person at work. Um, feeling like, oh, should I jeopardize my job, right? Maybe you're someone who was really into, you know, focused on your career here very driven ambitious in regards to that so it's like this new person could be taking you out of your element as far as being hyper focused on work here so you're just being called to ask if the person is worth it okay but this is definitely a new person and for some of you you have some new career here and this could possibly be where you meet this person messages for the leavers Yes, you can work through the shitty challenges. The ugliest outhouse still gets the job done. All right. So it's like, again, there's definitely some um, depression and anxiety here that someone is suffering from. Okay. It's like maybe feeling challenged to be in a relationship. Maybe going through this situation here. Maybe even not liking themselves too much on these days when they experience this. But I really feel like getting into this relationship is going to be good for you or this person, especially whoever suffers from anxiety here. It's like you're being protected from these negative thoughts, thinking, you know, having these uh, negative feelings, all right, in regards to your future. So this person could be coming into your life to bring that type of energy, bring that type of vibe. And you could also provide that for this person as well. And it's definitely going to result in marriage and building a future with this person. And this is a divine connection here. There's going to be a lot of attraction. Okay. A lot of, again, memories being made here. Taking lots of photos, sending lots of messages. Okay. Again, really feeling like connected to this person. Like you and this person are going to be inseparable here. So let me, let's see what, um, <clears throat> let's see what Starseed Deck got to say about this connection here, Libra. Messages for the Libras in regards to this divine union. What do you want them to know about this divine union here? We have the cosmic heart. Devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. Okay, so this is definitely going to be what you pray for as far as being in love, being in a marriage, being in a divine union here. Okay, so it's like this is definitely going to be a loving connection, devotion, right? Enchanted love, something sacred. Something spiritual here. 
It's like you pray for this and here it is. What are the messages here for the Libras? What do you want the Libra to know about this King of Pentacles energy here? We have, I remember. <clears throat> so you could definitely have a soul connection with this person here. Something sacred. Again, soulmate energy here. It says soul plan, the faded life versus the destiny life. Okay, so this is faded here for you guys to be in this connection with this person. Again, soulmate, it's like your soul is going to remember this person, have a deep bond and connection to this person. We got a message here. We have I'm sorry. Okay, so for some of you, that little splash I was talking about here, for some of you, this could definitely be an ex that's coming back back around here. Someone that's sorry. Someone that wants to right their past wrongs here with you. Okay, someone who's done some prayer, some praying, some digging up their roots, their trauma here. Again, you also have a soulmate connection with this person. If this is an ex or if this is new, this is definitely soulmate energy. So you could have someone returning to you that wants to be in a union with you, right? You could have split. They went and learned their lessons. You learned your lessons. Now it's like, let's get married. It's like me at the altar in your white dress. Messages for the Libras or in your tuxedo. What is the message is here? For the Libra. Double mission. Okay, so for some of you here, this is definitely a star seed mission here for you. Okay, you could be the star seed. It's like you're serve, here to serve the world by being you. Okay, you're definitely a light worker star seed. And you have a double mission here. Okay, so it's like being yourself, getting into this divine union. Okay, the, all of this is here. It's faded here for you here. For some of you, you can have a right a heavy soul soulmate connection to this person from the past. Okay. But you're definitely gonna hear something and get some good news, okay? Let's get one more. Give me one more message for the leaders. We have messages, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. Okay, so definitely going to get some type of message here. So keep your ears open because y'all about to uh, find out some news here. Okay, you could also be a messenger star see here. But it's like you're definitely, you could also be coming into union with the star seed. All right, this, this relationship is going to bring you harmony and balance, like I said. So, Libra, shout out to you. So, let's see. Messages for the Libras. Pleasure is on the bottom of the deck. So, I feel like this relationship is going to bring you a lot of pleasure good vibes good energy right marriage protection a sacred bond we have aunt nancy betrayal here okay so for some of you here this could be coming into your life after some type of betrayal here you could have gotten betrayed by our aunt here that could resonate with you but it's like someone is someone new is entering your life after this betrayal here. That's not betrayal. We have worthiness in reverse. Okay, so 
Someone could have betrayed you by not seeing your worth, okay? This could have been a family member. They could be tied into this in some type of way. Or maybe it's like you could have had an aunt that could have interfered with your the outlook on your worth here, the way that you looked at yourself or viewed yourself. You could have gotten betrayed by an aunt here. And that definitely could have took effect on your confidence in some type of way. This could have caused you depression. It could have also interfered, you know, in the way that you look at relationships as far as your faith and, and being in a connection here, being in a marriage, being in a union. All right, whatever this aunt did, this aunt could have betrayed you in some type of way in regards to you being in a union here. For some of you here, you could have had an aunt that could have been trying to do magic here and on you in regards to union or being in union here. Also, like, doing this here so you're not able to see your worth or others are not able to see your worth here. It's like maybe not making you an offer to be in a relationship. What is the message for the leader? You could have been raised by an aunt, like received a lot of guidance. So take that as that resonates, Libra. What's going on here? We have wounded healer in reverse. Okay, so I feel like this person is not coming to you wounded. This person is coming in, right? It's like showing you their worth, knowing their worth. Also, you guys could know your worth at this time. You're no longer you know, stuck on this betrayal that happened in the past. It's like, you know, your worth now. It's like, you're, you're just moving forward here. It's like, I feel like you definitely could have healed any wounds and, and trauma that you could have received from maybe even just your family dynamic in a sense. Okay. It's like all about knowing your worth here. So just know your worth. Know that you're worthy of this divine union here. And we have grounding, okay? So for some of you here, you can struggle with getting grounded. So get grounded, all right? It's like you guys could go through shitty challenges or have these little bouts of depression or anxiety, okay? So make sure you guys are staying prayed up, having faith here, Praying against if someone is trying to do magic towards you, okay? Getting grounded here. Also, this union is going to be something very um, groundbreaking and successful here for you. Something that's going to make you feel very confident, very attracted, attractive, okay? Also, it's going to be a lot of passion here. This call... <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Damn. They like, shut up. This could also um, spark your creativity and your passion in a way as well. Okay? In regards to your success. Let's get one more and then I'm going to get you guys some advice here. We have shame. Okay? So, you guys are definitely protected from... Shame, feeling the shame, okay? Especially in regards to situations that's beyond your control, okay? Meditate. There's an ending to that if you guys, again, if there was some type of influence here with this Aunt Nancy, in a sense, it's given like a feminine in your family. It's just giving family energy. But it's like there's an end to this shame, this grief, this anxiety, this depression. It's like this lover is coming in to heal you as well and vice versa, okay? So again, it could be a sprinkle of the past or this could be something new. What is the advice here for the Libras in regards to this reading? What is the advice here for my Libra babies? What is the advice? For some of you here, this could be a Scorpio. All right, let me tell y'all the signs. Taurus, Aries, Pisces, and Pisces again. This could be a Pisces masculine. 
this could be a Pisces masculine or feminine, honestly. Because there's a masculine and feminine right there in all of those cards there. <clears throat> what is the advice here? I am thankful. Okay, so be thankful. You're going to be very thankful for this good news that you're going to hear as well. So be very thankful here. Advice. Move on dead end. <clears throat> so for some of you here, there could be something that you need to move on from here. It's like there's someone new showing up in your life here. Especially whatever this is that could be causing you depression here. It's like move on. It like that's a dead end maybe with this aunt here. Move on from not knowing your worth here. That's a dead end, okay? What is the message here for the Libras? The advice. What is the advice here for the Libras? We have life is worth living. Okay, so for some of you here, it's like just know that life is worth living. Some of you guys will have a successful career here. All right. This could also change the way that you look at life in a way. It's like this person enters your life and it also changes the way that you look at life. Maybe you're looking back in the past and it's like being very grateful to have this person here in your life. Get, helping you to get grounded. I feel like you can have some type of residual like feeling like you don't really trust people, especially if you have some type of betrayal here in your past. <clears throat> what is the advice here? That's a lot, y'all. Heart chakra. So keep that heart chakra open. Okay? Keep that heart chakra open. Okay? Because as you're in love with yourself, it's like you attract people that's in love with you. It's like you guys are happy. Also, it's like you guys could definitely be starting over. Or your advice here is to start over. Okay? Again, that could be the ones that resonate with a sprinkle of the past. Maybe this person is coming in changed. Y'all know the vibe. So, take it as it resonates. But thank you guys for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one.